We keep saying over and over that we think one of the main reasons Polaris continues to build snowmobiles that are class leading year after year is because they're listening to their customers and giving them exactly what they want. The 2022 new model lineup is further evidence of this. Now it is true that much of it is stuff that just makes sense and simplifies their lineup, but it's still stuff we all want, so it's a win-win. And of course, there's one big piece of new technology that's gonna push them to the front of the line in that segment, but we'll get to that later. Another thing Polaris is doing for 2022 is creating a lineup of models from all categories that will fall under the Starfire title. Starfire is a throwback to models in the 70s that were the highest performance factory improved sleds that were always limited builds. Sleds that fall under the Starfire heading today will, likewise, come with pre-installed upgrades and exclusive features you will only be able to get during snow check. In 2022, the trail-focused Indy lineup includes all of the entry-level models from the Indy Evo all the way up to the Axis-based Indy SP, and all of these models are largely unchanged. In-season XC models will now be in the Matrix chassis, available with both 650 and 850 engine options and 129 or 137 track choices, and they feature specs similar to the 2021 launch edition. The Adventure has also been moved to the Matrix and is available only with a 137 skid, but with both engine options and with the 7S display. Starfire Indy models include the VR1, which is unchanged from last season, and the new Matrix-based Indy XCR, available with both 650 and 850 engine options, as well as both 128 and 136 track lengths. Why do they have one inch shorter track lengths than the rest of the lineup, and what does an XCR include that the others don't? First, the tracks are one inch shorter because the XCR uses a 2.52 pitch track, which results in a slightly different track length. Second, the XCRs get all the same race-inspired upgrades XCRs have featured in the past, including vented racing brake setups, hollow jack shafts, stronger suspension arms front and rear, four-wheel rear -wheel axles, and of course, top-of-the-line Walker Evans velocity shocks with both high and low speed compression and rebound control. In 2022, the Axis-based Switchback Assault 144 is replaced by a Matrix-based Switchback XC146 that's available in season. It features specifications similar to the 2021 Matrix Launch Edition. The Switchback Assault now falls under the Starfire heading, available only during snow check and includes all the best bits and pieces, including the 7S display and Walker Velocity shocks. The Voyager is another model that's been moved to the Matrix platform. It's available in only one configuration with a 146-inch IGX skid frame and 650 Patriot power under the hood. For 2022, Titan models have all remained the same as in 2021. This is the only model in the lineup that still includes the old 800 Liberty engine. Now let's talk about RMK. There are a few new models here that aren't gonna surprise anybody, but there are a few new pieces of technology that are very likely gonna one-up the competition. First up, you can still get the RMK Evo, Axis RMK 144, Axis RMK Pro, and Axis RMK Chaos in 2022. They all remain unchanged and are available in 850 and 600 engine options and with both chain case and quick drive two drivelines. But in addition to these carryover models, you can now get the Pro RMK and RMK Chaos in the Matrix platform with both 650 and 850 engine options. They're available in season, but you can only get them with a 155 inch track. Now comes the big news. And this one definitely falls under the snow check only Starfire heading. For 2022, Polaris has developed a new platform they're calling the Slash, and it's available as either a Pro RMK or a Chaos. The Slash is the next step in RMK design. Based on their Matrix platform, it features a dramatically altered formed one-piece tunnel that's not only shorter, but tapered at the close-off panel. Along with the tapered tunnel comes a shortened cooling system that's positioned farther forward in the tunnel for lighter weight and more centralized mass. The Slash features Polaris's React front suspension that's adjustable from 36 to 38 inches, and out back you'll find the familiar Pro RMK rear suspension in the Pro and the standard Chaos rear skid in the Chaos version. Engine options are what you'd expect, 650 and 850 Patriot, and track choices range from 146 to 165 in the Chaos and from 155 to 165 in the RMK. But wait, there's more. After Skidoo released their factory turbo last season, riders all over the globe wanted to know, would Polaris do a Turbo 850 to compete? The answer is yes to the turbo, but not really to competing with the Skidoo. 
According to Polaris engineers, the new 850 Boost power package was developed directly alongside the naturally aspirated 850 from day one. It was specifically designed to be capable of higher horsepower numbers than the naturally aspirated version is producing right now. Which means that Polaris was able to not just create an altitude compensating turbo, but a turbo that increases horsepower at sea level by 10% over the naturally aspirated version and maintains that horsepower all the way up to 10,000 feet, resulting in a 50% increase of power compared to the naturally aspirated Patriot at that altitude. So what are the horsepower numbers? Polaris doesn't make any official claims, but the estimates I've heard about the naturally aspirated 850 Patriot put it right around 168 horsepower. 10% of that is just under 17. If you add the two numbers together, you get an 850 Patriot boost engine that produces somewhere in the neighborhood of 185 horsepower at sea level. The 850 boost turbo setup is designed and built by Polaris and produces a maximum of nine PSI. Polaris is so confident that this engine package is durable that they're offering their standard snow check two year warranty on all 850 boost equipped sleds next year. The 850 boost power package is available only in the Pro RMK slash and Chaos slash models for next season. As I said in the beginning, for 2022, Polaris is continuing to give their customers exactly what they're asking for. For more indie models in the Matrix platform that are also available in season, to new RMK and Chaos models, and a high horsepower factory turbo option with a two year warranty. What more could you possibly ask for? Honestly, if this isn't enough to get you excited, you should probably go check yourself for a pulse. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you click that like button. And we upload new content every week. So if you don't wanna miss out on any of that stuff, make sure you subscribe so you get notifications whenever something new pops up.